What is up guys? Average Gear Reviewer here, back again with another video for you. In this one we're going to be continuing our little walk down memory lane where we are going through all the knives that I've gotten through and uh, done unboxings on so far. We're going through all those and reviewing them in order. I'm way behind on this so, so I really need to start cranking these out. But anyway guys, we're going to be taking a look at the O-Knife Freeze. So let's get into it. The best gear is the gear you have on. And welcome to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first video, hey, thanks for stopping by. And I hope you like the review that I'm going to do so far. This is going to be a uh, longer term carry review on the O Knife Freeze. This is the original Freeze model that we're looking at today. In this video, I'm going to go over. Uh, we'll start out with the technical specifications of the knife, tell you a little bit about how it's put together, the components, steel makeup, things like that. And at the end of the video, I'll get into, we'll do some size comparisons against some other EDC knives sort of in this range. And I will give you my overall thoughts on the O-Knife Freeze. So starting off with some of the technical specifications on the knife. You are looking at aluminum scales. It does have a 154 cm blade. You'll notice it does have a very aggressive Warncliffe shape to it there. It is about a 3.2 inch, I think is what they're saying. 3.2 inch blade, that looks about right. Overall, almost just shy of seven and a half inches there on your overall length, so that's giving you a handle length of about 4.1, 4.19, 4 4.2 inches, and a blade length, uh, blade, sorry, blade stock width there of uh, 0.11 inches. One of the first things that strikes you about the freeze is this aggressive blade shape that it has. It has one of the most, and I remember when I first got this in, looking at this and thinking that is one of the most aggressive looking Warncliffs I've seen. Get a very, very pokey looking tip there. But it is a flat ground here. Got a little bit of a, I don't know what you call this on the back of a Warncliffe. This is this not really a sweat, just the back of the knife, but good jimping up here behind it. You're, uh, it's a flipper knife, so you get your flipper tab back here, and you'll notice it does have some good jimping there. It needs to be cleaned out a little bit. I think I got a little dirty. Uh, I have been actually carrying this one around to get a feel for it. And, and like I was saying before, I this is one of those that when I got it in, I was like, yeah, that's kind of cool. And I, I really thought the blade shape was neat, but I just didn't pay it a lot of attention. And, and a lot of times just carrying them in your pocket, you really get uh, a, a much higher appreciation for it. And I got to say, guys, I absolutely love this knife. That Warncliffe is, is so useful for for EDC tasks. It's so sharp and slicey. I mean, it just goes right through cardboard. It went through right right through some cardboard and the edge of my pinky up here, but it's it's healed up now. But I was cutting some cardboard with it, and it just went sliced right through it, right through my pinky. I didn't even realize it at the time. So um, it's very, very sharp right out of the box, I'll say that. Very nice aluminum scales. I like how they went with the green. Um, I don't have a lot of OD green stuff, but this knife actually made me want to get some OD green stuff to match it just put together a little matching EDC set because uh, it just it's such a nice green but it's got a nice powder coating to it there I don't know if that's showing up very well on the camera but it gives it just enough of uh, a tactile feel where it's not just like a bare aluminum and I will tell you in your hands it just it melts right into your hand it just feels the ergos on this knife are so good and it, and it looks small when you're just looking at it but, but when you hold it, it's just so aggressive, so slicey. It is a great, I really, really like this knife. It is a liner lock. And so me saying that I really, really like this knife is saying a lot. I, I'm not crazy about liner locks, but if you could see on this one, you got like a good 50% lock up on that. And it's very, very strong. Very, very strong. Comes with kind of your standard pocket clip. But uh, it does have the flat lay screws, so you know no mushrooms growing in the shade. And the other bonus is you can flip the screws and carry it, or flip the screws. You can flip the pocket clip and carry it left-handed, so that's kind of cool. 
it you are going to see a uh, captive captive pivot on this side which i think they could have done something maybe make it a little flatter i don't know there's just a, they could have done something here but you get what you got and it's a uh, sort of a button looking black piece there and then over here you got a t8 pivot t6 body screws t6 screws in the clip and like i said you can reverse that to here and you've got a nice lanyard hole in the back just got spacers here so there's no um there's no back spacers just some standoffs and i don't know if you can see this very well in the camera there but the liners are skeletonized it has full steel liners you can see they're not nested they do come out to the edges of the aluminum handles on both sides so yeah gives it a little bit of extra heft and i will say for the size of the knife it does it feels substantial in your hand i know sometimes a smaller knife can feel uh, you just don't really feel like you're holding on to much but this guys i gotta say i can't say enough about it i i really 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 like the o knife freeze uh, i'm just digging it so uh, i'll get into some things that i like about it and some things that i don't like about it so first off i love the warncliffe blade shape i've really come around to these in fact this is the knife that really got me looking at the warncliffe blade shape and thinking man that is really neat it's so aggressive looking so handy it's just good for so many applications and uh yeah i'm really really digging the warncliffe so you know and since this is warncliffe wednesday this video is coming out on wednesday, on a wednesday so since it's warncliffe wednesday i figured it would be uh great to uh, go ahead and give you my thoughts on this one <clears throat> i like the lockup on it it just the lockup is absolute the action is great it's perfectly tuned for that flipper tab and another thing that I like about it, as somebody who's not a big fan of flippers, this one does have the second detent up there, so it'll keep you from cutting your fingers off when it's closing. The flipper is tuned, like I said, very well. Blade just jumps right out there. It works a little better as a light switch, but you can button press it, and, and it's got a good feel to the button press. It's just a little stiff, so just beware of that. If you, if you want to use it as a button presser, you can, but it's just a little bit stiffer. But man, that light switch feels perfect. Feels tuned just perfectly. I like how they went with the blackout hardware on this. Gives it a very military look. This is a very aggressive knife I would say would be good for EDC or for a backup weapon blade. Yeah. Because it's just so sharp and aggressive for puncturing. Um, and then so sharp and slicey. So you can see it being useful for a lot of applications. With your standard grip, it feels really good. The flipper tab forms a nice finger stop there. And with the jimping on the back of the blade, you can really, really just lock it in there. You know, it feels very, very secure in the hand. You can reverse grip it. It feels pretty good reverse grip too. And you know that your pinky is still going to get a little bit of uh, stop from this finger stop. It feels very good in that grip. And um, I would say this is one, I don't see a lot that are like this, but this one actually would work well for that clinch grip as well and i'm thinking that this uh, finger stop would help a little bit with the, any slippage there so yeah you can see a lot of ways you could utilize this um, let's do some size comparisons and as always we're going to start off with the spider code pair three bench made bug out of course you know these two edc icons got to see how it stacks up to those very similar in size, I would say, to the bug out. And I think this Warncliffe blade and the way it's so aggressive and pointy, it, it sort of makes the knife look a little bit smaller than it is. But you can see it does kind of fall right in line with these two um, as far as size goes. This one is the uh, Remet Rhino, the new flipper. I just did a uh, video on that knife. It's brand new. And also the Kershaw Iridium, which I'm pretty sure the Iridium is going to be quite a bit larger. Yeah. Quite a bit bigger there but the uh, handle size you could see still very similar this does come in sort of on that little uh, it just seems like it falls on the smaller end of the edc this is the uh, o knife metal and those are very similar in size but but you could see how this blade shape just just makes it look a little bit bigger let's throw up the uh, dimco 80 20.5 the new d2 with the uh, dlc gosh i love those 
So yeah, very comparable in size to these. And I think that that blade shape really just is misleading. It makes you think it's a little bit smaller than it actually is. So yeah, you can see where it falls into that category there very well. It's a very good size, smaller end of the EDC knife spectrum, but just disappears in the pocket and the feel on it, it I can't tell you guys, you just got to get your hands on one as far as that flip. It just has a very, very good feel to it. I don't know if you guys know, uh, most of O-Knife's knives, that sounds so weird to say, O-Knife's knives. Yes, most of O-Knife's knives are made by Kaiser. Uh, you know, in uh, like the uh, metal, it's the uh, Kaiser XL. The Roboto 2, which I don't have over here right now, it's, a, it's the Sheepdog. Or not the sheepdog, the uh, drop bear, sorry. I don't know which one this one's modeled off of, and I'm not for sure that this is a Kaiser knife either. If anybody knows down in the comments, educate me on that one, guys, because I really honestly have looked to see what it seems similar to, and I just can't find... I just can't find what knife this might be. And maybe that's just, I don't know Kaiser knives very well. But yeah, if you know, let me know in the comments down below. Also, guys, if you like the video so far... Consider leaving a like down below. It really helps us gauge how our content's doing. It lets us know if you like the videos that we're putting out. It just takes a second, guys. Just click that like button if you like it. If you don't like it, hey, uh, you know, just move on and forget about it. Maybe watch a different video. Um, but if you're not subscribed, guys, subscribe. We are still offering free subscriptions up to 500, and we're almost there. I think you can make it in on the uh, last 10 or 12 there. If you still want to get in on that first 500, like I said, in the future, I do plan on doing something special for uh, the first 500 subs. Uh, I think it may be a sticker, something like that. Guys, if you're already subscribed, let me know in the comments down below what uh, what you would like to see as a perk for that. And uh, I definitely want to give some love back to the first 500 subs. Also, we are going to do a giveaway when we get to 500. And uh, I'm not quite ready to announce that one yet. But uh, yeah. Let me go ahead and give you my final thoughts on the O-Knife Metal. So I want to be a little measured in my answer here because it, it's not perfect. It is a liner lock, which for me usually is a non-starter. But guys, in the case of this O-Knife Freeze, I'm making an exception. I absolutely love this knife. I Guys, I can't find anything I don't like about it other than the fact that it's a liner lock and the liner lock works very well. I haven't had any issues with it and the lockup is so absolute on it. I just don't see it having any problems. Is this the knife that's going to convert me to liner locks? I don't know, but I love it. I love it, guys. For $75, I get that's a little more expensive. I get that. That's pretty much what we would all consider the upper end of the budget budget level, right? Everybody agree with me on that? Can we just kind of agree on that point and move on? That's the upper level of the budget knife spectrum. But for the materials that you're getting with this, this 154CM steel with the, I'm not sure if that's a DLC or just a PVD coating. I think it's just a PVD coating. But, you know, 154CM steel is very going to have good corrosion resistance. Myself living in the South, that's an important thing for me. It's one of the things that makes me not crazy about D2 steel. Really, it's the only thing. But the aluminum handles with the nice milling, the good grip and feel, the execution, it's all done so well. It all comes together so well that I, I would highly recommend this knife. If you don't have one, get one. I, I I don't know if you're looking for something in that range up to $75 for a smaller EDC knife that really kind of kind of punches a little bit above that basic class to me just the the ergos and the and the blade shape alone kind of set it apart from anything else out there but yeah, I'm, I'm looking for a bigger size Warncliffe sort of in this vein. It almost reminds me of a rat too. But if you could, if you can envision it let's see, from here, if you, that sort of shape that it has, if you could just imagine there being like a clip point, kind of thicker clip point blade behind that, I don't know. It sort of reminds me of that. 
but uh, a Rat 2 with a uh, really, really awesome Warncliffe blade on it. Anyway, guys, that is those are my thoughts on the O-Knife metal, the original metal. I, I really, really like it. I can highly recommend it. I haven't had any issues with it whatsoever. And I can say the same for any of the knives that I've gotten from uh, O-Buy or O-Light World. Um, or O-Light Store, sorry. Any of the knives that I've gotten from them, all their knives are great. I haven't had any issues with them whatsoever. Their uh, fit and finish, attention to detail, quality control seems to be really, really good over there. So... If you've been thinking about one, if you're looking for a Warncliffe to show off on Warncliffe Wednesday, I'm going to highly recommend the O-Knife Freeze. Anyway, guys, that's about all I got for you today. Hope you have a good one, Average Gear Reviewer. I'm out of here. still here awesome listen i was supposed to tell you something really important and i have to tell you this don't forget to like the video if you like the content subscribe down below hit the subscribe button please i'm stuck here until you hit the subscribe button please please i'm begging you please you gotta let me out of here just hit the subscribe button did you hit it Did you hit the, did you hit, it's right down here. Did you hit it? I don't know, I'm still here. Hello? Hello? Did you, did you hit the subscribe button? Look, listen, I'm literally stuck here until you hit the subscribe button. Oh, stop. Yes, very, listen, please hit the subscribe button. You did? You did hit it? Are you sure you hit it? Let's try it again. Yeah, I don't... I don't know what's wrong. Please. Please. Help me. It's not 